Here is a beautiful circle with radius r. Suppose we're given that the area A of this circle is 9 pi, and maybe that's meters squared or centimeters squared, doesn't really matter. What we want to know is given the area of the circle, how can we find the radius r? Well, do we know any relationship between the area and the radius of a circle? Of course we do, right? The area of a circle is pi times the radius squared. In this case, our area is 9 pi. So we have that 9 pi is equal to pi times the radius squared. Our goal is to find the radius r. So since we're given the area, all we have to do is plug that into the area formula, and then we want to solve this for r. To get r by itself, we can begin by dividing both sides of the equation by pi. That will cancel out this pi on the left, so we'll have 9 equals. We'll have that pi canceled out on the right, so 9 equals the radius squared. Then just take the square root of both sides to solve for the radius. The radius is the square root of 9, which of course is 3. And if our area was given in centimeters squared, the radius is going to be the square root of that unit. So the square root of centimeters squared, that's centimeters. Sometimes the numbers will be a little messier, so let's quickly do an example like that. Now the area of our circle is 132 square inches. We again want to find the radius r. It's the same process. Plug that area into the area formula. So we have 132 equals pi r squared. And remember, we can leave the units out of the calculation until the end. We know our final unit will be inches. To get to the answer, we just have to solve this equation for r. Again, we'll begin by dividing both sides by pi. That will give us 132 over pi on the left is equal to, on the right, the pi will be canceled out and we'll be left with r squared. Then to finish solving for r, we just take the square root of both sides. That will give us that the radius of our circle, r, is the square root of 132 over pi. I've pasted that answer in yellow up here. You might be asked to round your answer to the nearest hundredth, for example. If so, at this point, you can just plug that into a calculator and round. Rounding that to the nearest hundredth gives us 6.48 inches. On the other hand, if you're not told to approximate your answer, then you may be expected to leave it in this exact form, in which case you'll probably want to simplify it. To simplify a radical like this, we just want to take out any perfect square factors that we can. So for example, in this case, 132, we can rewrite as 4 times 33. So this is equal to the square root of 4 times 33 over pi. The reason we did that is 4 is a perfect square, so we can take its square root out of the radical. The square root of 4 is 2, so we can take the 2 out and we're left with 33 over pi inside. And this is fully simplified, there's nothing more that we can do. So this is our answer in exact and simplified form. 2 times the square root of 33 over pi inches. And remember, once we find the radius of a circle from the area, we could just double our answer in order to get the diameter. But that's it. To find the radius of a circle from the area, take the area, plug it into the area formula, and solve for r. To solve for r, we just have to divide by pi and then take a square root. If you're asked to round your answer, make sure to not plug it into your calculator and round until you get to the final step. Otherwise, you might get something wrong just due to rounding error. And if you're asked to leave your answer in exact form, you probably want to simplify it too. And remember, your area is in square units. The unit of our radius is the square root of that unit. So if the area is inches squared, the radius is in inches.